Hope you're having a great afternoon. The weather is starting to turn turbulent, especially in southern Utah, but we can see in the northeast part of the state some showers and thunderstorms moving over the Uinta Mountains. Uh, let's get a look at this a little closer. Some of these are moderate rainfall just southwest of Robertson, uh, north of Lone Tree, a Lone Pine. This is a low tree that heads over towards Flaming Gorge Reservoir along the north side of the Uinta is around Spirit Lake. And now we've got some thunderstorms in the eastern side of Utah across the Tappaputs, and these are the big ones. Right here, showers and thunderstorms in the Boulder Mountain area, down through the Escalante Mountains, the Punxsutawney Plateau, all seeing those showers and storms. Some of them are going to be producing local areas of flash flooding, especially here in this Escalante drainage. We've got two pockets. Let's look at, look at them in more detail. On the north side of the Boulder Mountain area, just south of Torrey, pretty good sized storm here. That would push the water up into the uh, area near Torrey and down through Capitol Reef. This area to the south, though, heavier thunderstorms near Boulder and uh, between Escalante and south along the Escalante Mountains. These are heavy thunderstorms would drain into the Escalante drainage. So we're talking about some fairly hefty storms. Uh, pretty good range of th thunderstorms. They're not as intense now in Panguitch and near Hatch as they were, but uh, still some thunderstorms there as well. This one has picked up in intensity, is a uh, very heavy rainfall. This is the Punxsutawney Plateau, and here is Bryce Canyon. So we're getting hit very hard in Bryce Canyon and just to the southwest near the uh, uh, area of our state park. So we've got uh, pretty cool temperatures, not too bad right now. A lot of spots are in the 80s and 90s and the uh, forecast is to bring some of these showers and thunderstorms into the Salt Lake City area. Watch what happens by about 6, 7 p.m. A pocket of uh, scattered showers and storms will hit us and then scattered showers through midnight. Then as we head into Wednesday, we're kind of in between, but look at these very strong southerly winds. Very, very windy. Then the front comes by. You see where the front is, where the winds are coming out of the north and the winds out of the south. They split right here. So this is uh, right at about, uh, oh, let's say, 2 a.m., 3 a.m. in the morning, and then as we go through the morning, 8 a.m., 9 a.m., scattered showers and thunder showers, and much, much cooler with smoky conditions following that front, along with some temperatures that'll cool down by quite a bit. Now, let's look at the less uh, not as high a resolution forecast. This is the uh, United States computer model showing those showers and thunderstorms today, especially in eastern Utah. Partly cloudy and windy on Wednesday. The cold front comes through in the morning. This is about uh, 8 a.m. So showers and thunder showers across northern Utah in the morning and then slight chance in the afternoon. Looks like it'll snow in the higher mountains of Wyoming and Montana as this storm pulls away. Then we get a nice day on Friday after a cool start. <laughs> Saturday, here comes tropical moisture. Here comes another trough. Watch what happens. It pulls that tropical moisture northward on Sunday and on Monday as a deep low develops and that's going to give us some very wet weather next week. So more of the cooler wetter weather in the forecast than we've seen in quite a while. 83 in Vernal today, 81 in Evanston, 88 degrees in uh, Logan, 90 in Elko. The chance for showers and thunderstorms across the state and throughout southern Utah. It'll be in the upper 90s today in St. George, smoky tomorrow, 97. 89 on Thursday, but both Wednesday and Thursday will be quite windy. Then nice day for Friday, Saturday, and then showers and thunderstorms moving in on Sunday, Monday. For the Wasatch Front, 92 today with those showers and scattered thunderstorms late afternoon and early evening hours. Partly cloudy and very windy on Wednesday. Chance for showers and storms in the morning Thursday, otherwise partly cloudy, much cooler and windy, high of 68. That's 25 degrees cooler between Wednesday and Thursday. 76 on Friday, 82 Saturday, and then more showers and thunderstorms coming in on Sunday and Monday, Tuesday of next week. Now you're weather prepared. Have a great day.